morning everybody and welcome to the very first Wicked Workout. It's so great to have you with us. So these Wicked Workouts are going to be available every single day at half past nine for you to watch and enjoy and join us in getting fit and strong, hopefully enjoying every second of it and feeling better about yourself. So today's is the very first one and what I'm going to be doing is going through a real strong warm up for you. So basically the really important thing to do is make sure that whenever you do any exercise at all, firstly you need to make sure that your muscles are nice and warm because otherwise that's what can lead to injury and things like that. A lot of people will tell you to be doing um, static stretches and things like that. They're great for a cool down, but the most important thing to do is before you do exercise, get your muscles warm by having blood flowing through them. So what we're gonna do today is do a mobility workout. So it's getting those muscles moving. No static stretches, just keeping moving on the spot. So let's go for it. What I want you to do first is on the spot where you are, I just want you to do a march. So just bringing your knees up nice and high, swinging your arms. We're gonna be basically walking on the spot, but walking with purpose. Really keeping those arms and legs moving, nice and high, nice and strong. Keep yourself upright, keep your shoulders relaxed, and just get all your muscles, all your legs and arms moving around. It's gonna get the blood flowing through your body and get those muscles nice and warm so that you don't get any injuries. So we're gonna do this for 30 seconds, and it's just nice and easy, you don't need to go fast, just have a nice little rhythm. So let's do it for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now what I want you to do is a little jog on the spot, but what we're gonna do is gonna bring our knees up. So if you want, you can put your hands in front of you at about waist tight, and you can get your knees to hit your hands as you're going. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds as well. Stay nice and light on your feet. You don't need to be banging your feet down. Just stay nice and gentle on the balls of your feet. Bring those knees up nice and high. Another 10 seconds. Make sure your shoulders are nice and relaxed. The whole point with this is using your bottom and your leg muscles. Okay, so relax there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a jump from a squat bringing your knees up nice and high. So you're gonna squat down, and then as you come up, you're gonna bring your knees up. So it's down and up, down and up. Almost like a little rabbit jump on the spot. And what this does is it works out your legs, your core, your back, and it's just basically warming up those muscles, getting everything ready for the workout that you're about to do. And it should bring your heart rate up and as you can see from me getting a bit tired with this, um, it will just get you ready for doing that exercise. Okay, so do 30 seconds of that. Then we're gonna bring it down a little bit. Find somewhere that you can lean. So against a wall, maybe a chair, wherever it is that you can keep your balance. Hold on to something. And then one of your legs, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do a nice swing, forwards and back. So we're gonna do about 15 seconds for each side. Literally swinging your leg, nice and gently, forwards and backwards. What this does is it releases your hip muscles, lower back, your stomach, all that lower body. Swap legs for me. And obviously, if you do need to hold on to something, it just allows you to keep your balance without worrying about falling over. So. You don't need to be bringing your leg all the way up to the top of your head. It's not what this is about. It's just about warming those muscles up nice and gently. So just a little swing forwards and back, nice and gentle. Now we're gonna swap legs. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna go side to side. So again, go with whatever your flexibility is. If your flexibility means that you can go all the way up to your head, brilliant, do that. If like me, you're probably about as flexible as bring it about waist height, do that. Keep the legs straight, just a nice gentle flow out to the side, nice swing side to side. About 15 seconds on each leg is all we need. Let's swap legs again. Make sure that obviously if you are needing to, you just gently hold on to something, keep your balance. And again, what this is doing, it's working all of those leg muscles and making sure that they're nice and warm 
so that when you come to do any exercise, you're ready to go and your muscles aren't gonna be shocked and tear or strain. So you're much less likely to get an injury. So we'll do three more of these. Two and one, good. Give your legs a little shake out. Just on the spot, just shake it out all the way from the top to the bottom. And then what we're gonna do, again, hold on to if you need to. You're gonna bring one leg up at 90 degrees and you're just gonna move the bottom part of your leg, your calf muscle, so from your knee downwards and with your foot, you're gonna draw a big circle, keeping your leg almost as though you're sitting on a chair. So you draw a big circle in one direction and this is loosening off all those muscles around your knees. And then let's go the other way. And again, this will work off your calf muscles, all the joints basically. So all the areas where your body's gonna be moving and doing rotations, this is where we wanna make sure that they're nice and warm and ready for you to be powerful and push yourself. Let's swap legs. Again, hold on to something if you need to, it's not a problem at all. If you haven't got anything to hold on to, you can keep your heart, arms out in front of you and that'll help you with your balance. So just from the knee, drawing nice big circles in one direction and then we'll switch it back and go the other way. Always go both ways because don't forget you've got muscles on each side of your leg, each side of the joints, you'll always have the muscles. So you always wanna make sure that you're stretching off both sides. No point just doing the one because then the other area might not be warm enough and you might get an injury, which is obviously what we don't want. So when you've done that, give them a little shake and then again, Hold on to something if you need to. Point your leg, point your toes. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate at the ankle. So we're doing the whole body here, making sure that you're nice and warm. And again, as you see, it's, non, it's not static stretches. We're using motion to actually warm these muscles, get the blood flowing through them, getting your body absolutely ready to go. So change direction. You're just drawing a circle with your toes, basically. And again, it's that joint. It's moving all the areas around your ankle, getting that motion going through, getting the blood rushing through. You'll be ready to be powerful. Swap legs, point the toes, draw a circle. Doesn't matter which direction you start with, just as long as you do both ways. So keep the leg up, other leg supporting leg. Can be slightly bent if you need. This leg can be, have a little bend in it if you need to. Let's change direction. The whole point is to just make sure we are nice and warm and relaxed and ready. So, okay, that's good. Give your legs a little shake off. Now what we're gonna do is go do the upper body. So from here, just stand with your shoulder width apart, your feet shoulder width apart, hands nice and relaxed down, your, down at your sides. And then with one of your hands, you're gonna bring your arm nice and straight all the way up, you're gonna draw a circle. So basically you're gonna bring your hands up and then back round so that you're basically moving your shoulder joint. Now some people might struggle with this a little bit. Take it nice and slow, there's no need to rush. If you struggle with this or you find it at all uncomfortable, just make sure that you go maybe out to the side a little bit. There's no problem in doing that. You know, you don't have to be massively flexible to be able to go all the way back. Just make sure that you're doing a nice rotation on that shoulder joint. It keeps those muscles in the back, the shoulders and arms ready. Nice and, nice and um, warm. Now change direction. So if you started by going backwards, now go forwards or vice versa. Nice and slow. You just wanna basically have your arm doing a nice big circle to the side. Okay, again, keep it nice and calm. Doing about 15 seconds for each side of these. That's all you need. At the end of the day, it's a warm up. It's not your actual exercise. It's about getting your blood pumping, but not doing anything too major because you're, you haven't started your workout yet. Swap sides. So the other arm, we're gonna do the same thing. You might find it easier to do it with one arm than the other. Um, that's completely normal. Don't worry. Um, just do what you can. And like I say, this is the warm up. So just take it at your own pace and just enjoy it. Enjoy feeling that blood flush, flushing through your muscles, getting yourself ready. And you should find that you start feeling really energetic because you're, uh, you're starting to work that body out. It's starting to get ready. It knows what's coming. We're gonna enjoy the workout. So switch directions for me. Go forwards or backwards, depending on which way you went before. 
nice big circle. Keep that body nice and upright. You don't need to be hunching forwards. You don't need to be leaning back. And the other hand will basically just be down by your side, relaxing. Okay. Do two more of these. One and two, good. Now, what we're gonna do, hands are both gonna stay down by your waist. Nice and relaxed. Still gonna be foot, feet shoulder width apart. And all we're gonna do is bring our shoulders up and do a rotation backwards. As you go backwards, really push that chest out because that means that you're really pushing in and sort of squeezing in on those tricep muscles and you're opening up the front of your chest. This is especially good for if you're gonna be doing anything like burpees or, or um, some mountain climbers or press ups. So where you're gonna be using those chest muscles and your triceps, biceps, any arm muscles, maybe your back muscles, like your trapeze muscles. So really pushing back, nice big rotations, bringing your arms all the way up to your ears and then pushing them all the way back on those shoulders. And then let's change direction. Make sure that this time as you come forwards, really squeezing in on that chest. So those shoulders should be coming all the way up to your ears, pushing forwards, nice and strong. Here we go, take it nice and slow. Again, there's no rush here. It's about warming those muscles up for you and enjoying it, getting ready for our workout. Okay, so just two more, one and two. And now we're gonna do the neck. So from here, again, stand nice and relaxed, make sure you're nice and balanced. You're gonna bring your neck, your chin down onto your chest. And then from there, you're just gonna rotate your head all the way back and basically draw a circle with the top of your head. It doesn't matter what direction you go in first, we're gonna be doing both ways. Just take your time, really stretch off those neck muscles and the tops of your shoulders. Now, again, you might not think that the neck is an area that you need to stretch off, but trust me, it really is because anything where you're using your arms, your shoulders, or any movement, you need to be making sure that your head has a really good balance point and the neck is what supports our head. So we need to make sure that that's nice and strong as well. So nice and slowly, let's go the other way. Same thing, nice and relaxed, nice deep breaths. Don't forget to breathe while you're doing these exercises. Absolutely no good if you don't breathe. That's not what we're after. Nice deep breaths, rotate those muscles. You should feel a nice stretch on them. You might even feel that your neck clicks a little bit. Probably the older you are, that might happen more and more. Don't worry about that. But what you'll probably find is that's just the muscles being released. So it's actually a good thing. So just allow yourself to drop that head down onto your chest as it comes forward and push it all the way back as you go around. Okay. Give your whole body a little shake off. Okay, you should feel nice and relaxed, nice and loose. Those muscles should feel good, they should feel warm. You should be aware that you've got blood flowing. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go back to doing a nice gentle jog on the spot. And again, this is just to kind of get those muscles working. Now that we've stretched everything off, we've got it all warm. We're just gonna keep that motion. So where you are, just literally a nice jog on the spot. While you're running on the spot, again, you don't need to sprint. This is a warm up. Keep those hands nice and loose, have them at about waist height, and as you're doing this, shake those hands off. Because again, you're probably gonna be using them if you're doing press ups or a plank or mountain climbers or anything like that, you're probably gonna be using your hands and they're important too. So again, just shake them off, it's nice and gentle. So here what you're doing is you're using motion, your body's staying nice and warm, you've got lots of oxygen flowing through your muscles at the moment. Um, you shouldn't be out of breath because we're not pushing hard. And as you're sort of moving your hands, it's almost like you're flicking your hands away from your body. So what that does, loosens all those finger joints, loosens your wrists, and you're keeping your arms moving as well. So basically it's like an all over warm up. So if you can't do anything else before you do a workout, at least do this. Have a little jog on the spot. Stay nice and loose, nice and soft. Just gentle little jog, don't sprint. And just shake everything off. You can shake your shoulders off, shake your head. You can kind of move your ankles, kick your legs a little bit forwards, you know, kick them up to the back. So that basically what you're doing, you can might kind of maybe bounce side to side. The whole point is to get those muscles 
moving so that they've got all the oxygen getting into them and they feel nice and warm. So when you come to push yourself and power through, your body's ready, it's good to go and you shouldn't get any injuries. Okay, good. So most important thing now, make sure you're hydrated throughout your exercise and just enjoy your workout. Be safe, everyone. Enjoy. Can Do FM and Active Cumbria accepts no liability for any injury incurred or damage to property caused whilst taking part in any of the Wicked Workout broadcast on air or video.